I want to talk about this. Joe Rogan apparently has a new special on Netflix. And uh, rumor has it that it's dog shit. Apparently, there's a joke in this special that was filmed in 2024, as far as I know, where he says that you can't assume his gender or something. We're talking about 2017 era transphobia. Um, but he's he's playing all the greatest hits. I'm assuming he's got some my pronouns are blank blank. He's got some I identify as X. Um, but there's a specific portion in here where he kind of just like lets his casual homophobia out of the box. And um, it's it's very interesting that somebody who looks like this would say the thing that he's going to say. So let me read the specific uh, passage. I shared this on Twitter, but at another point, he insisted that he is not homophobic. Quote, I love gay men, but I think about gay men the same way. Uh, I think about mountain lions. I'm happy they're real, but I don't want to be surrounded by them. Okay, so he doesn't want to be around a bunch of gay guys. Uh, that's explicitly homophobic, but why? Uh, there are a bunch of dudes who fuck dudes. I don't like my chances, okay? Hang on. You're Joe Rogan. Your head looks like a big toe. You don't like your chances? You don't like your chances. I'm sorry. Don't fucking flatter yourself. I promise you, uh, you're not going to get hit on by gay guys. They don't want to fuck you. Uh, gay people find you repulsive. Uh, gay men, straight women, all find you repulsive because you are. You're not just ugly on the outside. You're also ugly on the inside. You've got nothing going for you aside from money. But that still, there's not enough money in the world to get somebody to want to fuck that sweaty ass bald headed bitch. This is hilarious to me that he doesn't want to be around gay people because he thinks that he's just so attractive that they're going to be all over him. Bro, come on. Look in the fucking mirror. And look, it goes to show you that some homophobes, they, they're they delusional. They're borderline delusional. When I just had come out, I was like 23 years old. I went bowling with uh, some coworkers, and one of my coworkers worked at a second job, and one of her coworkers showed up with her husband. This is more middle-aged people. Her coworker was like, I don't know, 45, 50, and she brought her husband. And um, so they were bowling too. I didn't know these people. They were just there, but I they knew that I was gay. Um, I'm not really sure how they knew. Uh, well, I mean, maybe they suspected, right? But either way, uh, I guess that they knew I was gay. And so her husband goes up to, uh, you know, to bowl. And this like middle-aged sweaty ass slob before he rolls the ball, stops, turns around and looks at me and says, hey, you're not checking on my ass, are you? And I'm just like, excuse me? Like, that wasn't my reaction. I just like, was like, huh. Eh. I just laughed it off. But like internally, I'm like, I'm sorry. Hang on a second. Do you just assume that gay dudes have no standards? Why do you think that any gay guy or straight woman would be so attracted to you. You are a disgusting, stinky slob, and you think that people want to fuck you? Excuse me? It's just so, it was so mind-blowing to me because it's like, oh, wow. Homophobia stems from a delusion in part where these guys just think, oh, my God, if I go out to a gay bar, gay men are going to be jumping all over me. I mean, sure, there are straight men who gay men find attractive, duh, obviously, right? But like, why is it always the most disgusting ones that are like, oh, I know I'm a fucking hit in the gay community. No, you're not. No, you're not. Stop. Who who told you this? Did your wife tell you that? Like, oh my God, watch out for those gays because they're going to want to fucking, <laughs> you're going to have to claw them up. It's just, it's so weird to me. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. It's, it's so bizarre. They fear what many straight men do to women. Uh, Eliana, that is such a good point, right? That's such a good point. I, I think that it is projection, right? Because, you know, maybe they're overly horny and they're hitting on women and don't respect women. They think that gay men are going to treat them the same way. I think that is such a perfect point and it makes so much sense. 
Um, so getting back to this, it's funny. So <laughs> this is just bizarre. So elsewhere in the special, Rogan joked about uh, that he wished he was gay uh, so he could continue to use homophobic slurs with impunity, which he did anyway, using the word f it to thunderous applause from his audience. I don't understand this. You're like, man, I wish I was gay because I could say the F slur. And then he just says the F slur. Okay. So why'd you wish you were gay to say the F slur if you're just going to say it anyway? I don't, I, I don't get it. And I feel like there are people who think that they get so much power uh, from saying that word. Uh, but it's not like it, it. You're just like a child. Right. You're just a child. There's the uh, Republican con congressional candidate. Uh, who, what's her name? Valentina Gomez, where she released a video on Twitter and she was running for Mi Missouri. Was it Missouri? Secretary of State. I'm not sure. Um, she got her cheeks clapped. But beforehand, she she released a video where she was one uh, calling gay people F slurs. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. She was calling uh, Imani Khalif. And trans women F slurs, but she was referencing a cis woman. So good job fucking that up. Uh, and then she did a separate video video where she was talking about like how gays wanted to kill her dogs and her dad. And I was like, God damn, like this is actually uh, the plot from the second season of White Lotus. These gays, they're trying to murder me. It's so genuinely fucking unhinged. But yeah, I just I mean, bro. You're not edgy for saying this. This is like me when I'm fucking 10 years old dropping the F slur. I feel like it's to think that you you have power from saying these words. It's a very immature thing. Um, but let's go to see what he says about trans people. So um, because it's going to be bad, obviously. But he also whined about not being able to use certain slurs anymore and suggested that transgender people are crazy and perverted. Yeah, they're the ones crazy as he spent the last like two years spreading conspiracy theories on his fucking podcast, which he addresses, by the way. I'm kind of reading this backwards, but regardless, if you're getting your vaccine advice from me, is that really my fault? Yeah, it is because you attract stupid people. And if you tell stupid people as a stupid person that they should take your stupid advice and they do it, yeah, that's kind of your fault. That's called responsibility. It's called have, having a platform. But he's like, no, you can't listen to me. I'm stupid. Okay. Great endorsement of yourself, but that doesn't let you off the hook. But he says, I believe trans people because I think the world is strange and nature is strange. And I think nature can throw you a curveball and you believe you're in the wrong body. And I fully support your right as an adult to do whatever you want that makes you happy. Then why do you keep bringing on guests that say that trans uh, trans people shouldn't be allowed to exist? That gender affirming care should be banned? That's the position of Matt Walsh. That's the position of Jordan Peterson. So you platform these people who don't actually believe in freedom for trans people. And yet you say, oh, no, I'm an ally. Uh, you know, I think I believe trans people are a thing because, you know, nature's crazy. Uh, OK, good job. It, you, you've you've come to the conclusion that the millions of trans people that exist around the world, uh, they're not all faking it. I don't know what you want me to do with this information. This just makes you sound like a fucking dumbass, even though he's trying to uh, code this as him being supportive, right? But he's trying to set up like him being a pseudo supporter so we can he can drop the transphobic bomb. That's usually what they do. You know, he started out with the gay person. I like I love gay people. I was is like uh, I love gay men, but you know they all want to fuck me, and that's crazy. Um, okay, so I believe in freedom and I believe in love, but I also believe in crazy people. It's so ironic coming from him. This man has no self awareness whatsoever. Uh, I just want to know what happened. He continued. It's almost like a pervert wizard waved a magic spell on the whole world with the wave of this wand you can walk into uh, the women's walker locker room with a hard cock and anybody who complains is a nazi abracadabra okay this is so stupid i get that he's not being serious because it's a joke but do you honestly believe joe that trans people just materialized like a couple of years ago do you actually think that all of a sudden everyone was just like i'm trans like there was some sort of a switch and it was flipped and then all the people who had that you know little chip in their brains they're like oh now's the time the transition i mean this is so fucking stupid and believe it or not this is the view of a lot of transphobes they just think that uh they existed 
uh, just for the last couple of years. Like they just suddenly materialized. This is what Trump said, right? This is a new thing. If you watch this video where he talks about wanting to ban gender from and care for everyone, he says, oh, this is a new thing. This has never happened before. Trans people has, have always existed. You can go back to the furthest uh, records in history. They've always existed. You're just too stupid to know that. And now they're saying we want rights. We're just like you all. We deserve equal treatment. This is the same thing that happened with gay people. And then, you know, the homophobes back then were like, what, what's going on? It's like an epidemic. Is it contagious? Everybody is just gay all of a sudden. No, they're just coming out. And you're just mad. Just leave them alone. Let them be what they want to be. Let them be gay and happy. Fuck off. But I love how he comes up with this. Oh, you know, you can just walk into the women's locker room with a hard cock. And anybody who complains is a Nazi. Why don't you give us an example of this happening? Give us an example. Can't do that, huh? I wonder why. And it just works. And everyone just accepts this new reality. And it's fucking weird. I just think we need standards. You can't just put lipstick on and now you can shit in the women's room. I don't think that that's what people are doing. They're not just like, you know, I'm curious about what the woman's room looks like. So let me put on a wig and lipstick. Trans, You just said you believe that trans people are real because, you know, nature, right? You said it in a very fucked up, stupid, patronizing way. But nonetheless, you said you think trans people are, we are weird. But now you're contradicting yourself and you're like, oh, no, they're just like putting on lipstick real quick to go in the women's room to shit. OK, even if that's true, if somebody puts on a wig or they put on lipstick and they pretend to be a woman and they're not really trans and they go to shit. Is that really the biggest deal in the world? Where they're like, oh, let me just shit in this other bathroom. I think you're grasping, Joe Rogan. You're grasping at straws here because you're a bigot. You're a homophobe and a transphobe. And I think that you don't like that you're on the wrong side of history and you know it. Because for the most part, he was pretty accepting of gay people and he was always seen as somebody who was nominally progressive. But now, since he's been bringing on far-right lunatics on his program and cozied up to the far-right... You know, he doesn't like that he's getting called a bigot. But to that I say, if you don't want to be called a bigot, stop being a bigot. Nobody's forcing you to say these prejudiced things about gay and trans people. You're doing that on your own volition. So, you know, you can listen. Here's the great thing about being a transphobe or a homophobe. You can always stop. I know a lot of people who are very homophobic and they stopped. Guess what? I'm cool with them. We all learn. I think you should meet people where they are. So it's not like, you know, you are permanently going to be transphobe, homophobe. I think that some of the best allies are former homophobes because they can explain it in a way to other homophobes that will resonate with them. So, you know, it's not like you're just persona non grata forever. You can you can change, but he's choosing not to because he is genuinely prejudiced. He's a bigot. So, yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. But uh, to go back to the original point in the story, Joe Rogan, uh, I promise you, you don't have to worry about anything. Uh, I don't think any gay person is going to have a problem uh, if you walk into the room. Um, if anything, you know, you might hear some uh, dry heaving because I'm sure the smell is going to change drastically once you enter the room. But uh, they don't want to fuck you, bud. They don't want to fuck you. Uh, you have nothing to worry about. And if you think... That maybe, you know, uh, being around gay people is threatening because they all want to fuck you. Odds are you're a little bit too confident and should rein it in. Humble yourself. OK, come back down to reality. <laughs> you're not that big of a catch. Mom. I'm gay. Gay. Gays. 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 Mom. I'm transgender. transgender.